Renaissance period, the world experienced the burst of the Industrial Revolution, which had a positive effect on many parts of the world, as well as music. This time in history is important because it is a time where the middle class experienced a huge jump in wealth, which contributed to their ability to focus on the art of music. Music shifted from being only available to the higher class, such as the kings and nobles, to being available for everyone. Music changed from a private experience for the wealthy into a public art available to everyone. Franz Schubert was an Austrian composer that was considered the last of the classical composers and one of the first composers to ever start making romantic music. He was a part of the middle class. Franz Schubert was said to be one of the last classical composers of his time. He was born January 31, 1797 in Vienna, Austria and died November 19, 1828 in Vienna. He only lived to be 31 years old but still managed to write over a thousand pieces of music. Schubert was described to be a very social man yet never married. Known for many pieces such as Earl King and Ave Maria, the later is now considered to be his most famous piece. Ave Maria is Latin for Hail Mary. Religious leaders considered adapting Schubert's melody and applying it for the full text of the traditional Catholic prayer by the same name. It is now a common misconception that Schubert wrote the original melody for the Ave Maria, when in truth he did not. Schubert was heavily inspired by artists such as Beethoven, whom he worked beside and is even buried next to him in Vienna. The piano is one of many instruments that laid much significance in the Industrial Revolution. One major impact of the Industrial Revolution was in fact the newer and advanced way people constructed instruments, one being the pianoforte. In the piano industrial time, there was much going on in terms of new inventions. The pianoforte got its name due to the newly constructed way pianos were beginning to be made. Forte was added to the name piano because now we can hear a new sound being played soft and forte meaning loud. Half a century passed before it was able to surpass the clavichord and the harpsichord. An example that should not most definitely be brought to our attention to help broaden our ideas and points of views in this time of new musical invention composer is Franz Liszt. Liszt is, Liszt is an example of a composer who explored music and showed us new ways of sound. He correlates to the invention of the piano forte because Liszt used the piano in ways that quite frankly would make you want to boil with such emotion. Yes, some parts of his music inspired by other composers but reconstructed with harsher, harsher and more lush notes. Important in the new aesthetic view of the time was the conception of the artwork as a unique individual expression of its author. In regard to music particularly as the manifestation of his or her own emotions. That is just it. Liszt rejuvenated our ears and minds as listeners with his emotion. As said by Professor Landis, he also showed us many styles and variations of spooky music. He was a good example of art song as well. He painted a picture in our minds with solo voice and piano. To say the least, he was a painter of emotion with musical notes. He would have never been able to show us this new style of musical comp composition without the piano forte.